Welcome back to yet another Steam Deck video, and this one's going to be really important because there's a mod right now on the Steam Deck that can allow you to boost your FPS by up to 24 freaking percent, and we're going to get into it in this video. But before we do, please like, subscribe, click the bell icon for more Steam Deck content every single day on this channel. I'd love if you joined our little community. I also stream every day at 3 p.m. on Twitch, link in the description, and come follow me on Twitter as well. Shit. Let's be friends. Tell me what you're up to these days over on Twitter, right? Because I'm always on there and always reading tweets. Anyways, guys, let's get into this FPS boost up to 24% with a little mod that you can easily do. Let's go. So, guys, this article comes courtesy of PCGamesN.com. Steam Deck mod can boost FPS by up to 24 freaking percent in some games. Cryo Utilities Steam Deck mod can increase the performance of the handheld gaming PC in games like GTA 5 and, and may help prolong the life of its SSD. Wow. Uh, Steam Deck mod promises to bolster the device's ability to pump out even more frames per second while also improving the longevity. Um, let me zoom in. While also improving the longevity of the portable powerhouse's SSD. Well, this sounds almost too good to be true. These claims appear to mostly hold up, but there are some games and scenarios that may that may performance decrease based on these changes. The Cryo Utilities mod developed by Cryobyte33, you absolute legend, can help boost FPS by up to 24%, with the YouTuber offering deep dives into how the Steam Deck mod affects frame rates in games like Cyberpunk 2077 and GTA 5. It can be downloaded for free from GitHub, where you'll also find installation instructions. Without getting too technical, the Steam Deck mod essentially allows you to better tune the device to more efficiently use the memory in its RAM and SSD to improve performance. Should Cryo Utilities have you feeling skittish, however, for whatever reason, you will be able to easily reverse any of the changes you make through its application. Easy and safe. So there's a video down here. I'll link. I'll link it in the video description. Just bear in mind that it's not entirely flawless. So it's not an entirely flawless silver bullet, of course, of sorts. And games like Red Dead Redemption 2 don't play so well with Cryo Utilities, resulting in lower frame rates. Still, there's no reason not to try it if you're feeling adventurous. This might be stuff that Valve bake into the Steam Deck themselves at some point. I mean, that's the good thing about the Steam Deck and Valve specifically, is that they're always fine-tuning the Steam Deck, always basically trying to improve performance via Proton, or just the way they manage the operating system runs software. Um, so yeah, we're going to take a look at this video. Um, let's take a look, and then we'll, I'll link the full video to you down below. So is that... Okay, so this is Grand Theft Auto V. He is getting... With without the fix, with medium settings, he's getting 62 frames a second, average. With the fix, he's getting 71 frames a second. That's a pretty big boost. With low settings in Grand Theft Auto V, he's getting 63 without the fix, and afterwards with the fix, he's getting freaking 79. That's like an extra 16 FPS, which can make a big deal. It can make a big difference. Let's check Cyberpunk here. So, with medium settings in Cyberpunk, without the fix, before the fix. Um, he was getting 31 frames a second and with the fix he's getting 34 on average and if you look at the the 97th percentile fps he's getting 76 with the fix and 49 without the fix so these are big increases so guys check the link down below in the video description go check out cryobyte 33's video on how you can get that big impressive fps boost on your steam deck it's pretty incredible but obviously you know be careful, all right? Use your due diligence. Only do it if you want to be adventurous. Don't do it if you don't, because it's not an official update from Valve themselves. And I'm 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 sure Valve is gonna push out an update like this at some point. So if you just wanna wait, you know, just wait. Um and like I says, what I love about the Steam Deck community is that they're taking things into their own hands. Valve is letting them, and basically, we're you know, users are helping us get the most out of the Steam Deck. And I can see the Steam Deck lasting a lot longer, the lifespan lasting a lot longer, and us getting the most out of it for longer. Um, thanks to users like this, like Cryobyte, and obviously Valve updating the software all the time, getting better, eking better performance from the Steam Deck all the time, as well as developers, of course. So, yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited to see what the Steam Deck's going to be like in like maybe a year or two. Um, to see if performance goes up any um thanks to all the tweaks and improvements and optimizations that the developers valve and users make to their steam decks um and it's just a really fun time to have a steam deck guys anyways guys have a great day i love you i appreciate you please like subscribe click the bell icon and i'll see you in the next video bye